See how large a letter? Oh my God, give it to me. How large a letter I'm writing to you. This is important. Because if you don't get this, you ain't gonna know God. You ain't gonna know God. You see, I thought knowing God was how busy that you was in the church. I thought knowing God was how long did the pastor call your name? I thought, ooh, this was really a big right here. You know what, uh, Brother Bland? I've been watching you, and we've decided we're going to put you on this committee. And that don't help you to know God. Uh-uh. You know when you know God? You know God when you realize you can't help yourself. You, you know God when you realize that everything I got ain't worth nothing. When you realize everything I know ain't about nothing. You know God when you get down to the last and you say, God, if you don't help me, I ain't going to be able to stand the storm. You know God when you say, God, you know what? I, I, don't, I ain't going no further. <laughs> Cricket, when you get like Jacob was, Jacob was a trickster, but Jacob was fearing for his life, and he thought Esau was getting ready to take his life. All them cattle and all that stuff, he said that stuff ever before him. You can have all of this stuff right here. And, and the angel came that night, and he wrestled with the angel all night. And the angel told him, Brother David, said, let me go. The day is break. And I, Jacob said, oh, no. No, no, no. I'm not going to let you go until you bless my. That's when you know him for yourself. Oh, my boss. Hey, glory to God. Oh, my God. And mother, I want you to know something. When you know him, can't nobody change your mind. When you know him, oh, ain't no storm can come through. I know in my heart. I know that I know. God, I don't know how you're going to do. I don't know what tomorrow is going to bring. But all I know that he that holds tomorrow, he holds my hand. God that brought me from too far. He has. You don't understand. You don't understand. <laughs> I know they look at you funny sometimes. They tell me, why are you still with your hood? Why are you still with my Baby, I know him for myself. Why are you standing running behind that boy? That boy ain't going to do no but I know him for myself. How many of you, do you know that he'll bring your child home? Do you know that God will fix a situation? Do you know that God will put money in your account? <laughs> Look what he says here. And I want you to know, <laughs> the moment that you turn your back on yourself and decide you're going to know him, now you can't know him as long as you're holding on to yourself. He told you, now be not deceived, God not mock. <laughs> Whatever you sow to, if you sow into your flesh, that's what you're going to reap. Uh, but if you sow to the spirit, you're going to have light. Do I have anybody here that can say they didn't want me to have it, <laughs> but I got it. <laughs> Don't care about two folks. <laughs> I got it, <laughs> and they didn't want me to have it. <laughs> what you got? I got peace. <laughs> I got joy like a river <laughs> that flow with I got it. They didn't want me to have it. But I got it. <laughs> Thank you, Jesus. <laughs> this joy I have. <laughs> the world didn't give it to me. And the world can't take it. I'm glad I know it for myself. <laughs> when you turn your back on yourself <laughs> and you turn to God <laughs> and he said, God, if, you, if it ain't you, I don't want it. <laughs> I don't care what it look like. I don't care what it tastes like. <laughs> If it ain't you, I don't want it. <laughs> the moment you do that, that's when the devil, the hounds of hell, finna break loose. Uh, they they getting ready to make you feel like that you ain't nothing. <laughs> make, thank you, Jesus. Uh, look what Paul says here in verse 12. I got six minutes. He says, as many as desire to make a fast show in the flesh. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I was talking about, mother. There's a desperation that comes that you don't care what folks think about you. <laughs> to start having fairy church in the back room of your law office. <laughs> oh, they giggle at it. Keep, what he doing now? <laughs> but I want you to know something. <laughs> that I was happier in that back room of that office <laughs> than I had ever been in my life. <laughs> because I had my hand in God's hand. <laughs> and I said, God, whatever you do. Yeah. There was an old woman uh, that 
that took me and Lady Deborah up on the, you somebody got to mentor you. There was an old woman that took me and Lady Deborah up on her wings. And she invited her over to her house. She stayed in the projects. He said she gave what she had for dinner there, Vanna Junior. She didn't have nothing but spam. Some of y'all don't even know what spam is. It's supposed to be ham, but it didn't quite make it. Thank you. <laughs> And some of y'all sitting up here looking blank, but you know what it is. <laughs> you know what spam is. You know what powdered milk is. Uh-huh. You know that peanut butter came in them silver cans, too. I ain't the only one. But that woman, that woman, and she wore a wig. The wig wasn't never quite, the wig didn't never quite cover them naps thank you Jim. I'm glad I know him it ain't gonna be like you think when you get to know God it ain't gonna be like you think and sitting there in the projects with that woman with the wig hair and her and she told him she said brother Blaine she said I got so sick I was sick enough to die she said, I was sick enough to die and she said Jesus walked in the room where I was and the Lord touched she didn't say touch she said the Lord taught my body she said the Lord taught my body and she said brother Clark she said when I when the Lord left she said my testimony been ever since whatsoever the Lord say about it it's alright with me yeah. 